dear dad. It's been a week since you're gone. A long, tiring week that felt like ages. But finally we're here, me and Zach, ready to write to you a letter a week, like we promised on your grave. You know that. All this while, I couldn't wait to write to you. But today, as I set myself up on your favorite couch, the pen feels heavy and the white of the paper seems blinding. Even the soft fabric of the couch seems rough, as if it moans you too, Dad. The words have been scribbled and struck off so hard, the ink has seeped into the fabric now, like the emptiness inside us. There's just so much to tell you, Dad. It feels overwhelming. Without you, our world is a hue less beautiful. Everything around seems to have lost color now. You know, Dad, the lark doesn't sing at your windowsill anymore. It has understood your absence, but perhaps not accepted it yet. The evening wind howls in the lilac tree near the main gate. We listen and wait for it to stop. But every evening it leaves the flowers scattered on the ground and the bench you built hides under them as if trying to escape the reality. How's heaven, Dad? We are sure you carry the colors to your new home. Not complaining, just wishing things were different. Gosh, I never knew these words would hit me so hard until I actually wrote them down. Remember how Zach and I always use these words when things didn't work out? Our lunch at school would be beans and loaf compared to the pies and muffins our friends brought and we'd wish things were different. Our toys would be mostly upcycled ideas compared to our friends' fancier stuff and we'd wish things were different. Christmas would be just us huddled around a fire while our neighbors would go out and celebrate and we'd wish things were different. But you, Dad, you taught us to believe in miracles and never give up. You showed us eventually everything becomes all right. So here we are, silently wishing things were different for just one more time. But today, we fear uttering those words that bring back a million memories. Today, we just want to remember the happy moments and cherish you. We miss you so much, Dad. We know you're in a better place. But your dreams, your dreams are right here in our hearts. Until the next letter, your loving son, Liam.